Nah, that's okay. I'm pretty sure that'll buff out. Hello! Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. <laughs> How about I just nap on that pile of pillows you got out there? Why would you do that? Ah! All right, let's go do Don't the thing. Put the knife in the neck and make a mess of the situation. You, you heard correctly, my friend. It's just the mess is my target. Because you know, stab in the neck. Oh no. Yeah, my bad. I don't have food. Unless your stomach can process, like, throwing knives. Alright. Looks like I am going to have to attack from above. <laughs> what? No. Wait, who? Oh. Ooh. Um. I think I can make that. Maybe. Although. I don't know if I can keep going up past, you know, you know, I don't think I need to keep going up past here, but maybe I do. Um, hmm. Oops. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> Assassin. Do I have to... What is going on? Oh, there we go. Oh my. Welcome, welcome. Thank you all for joining me this evening. Please eat, drink, enjoy all the pleasures I have to offer. Take your time, I will wait. I trust everything is to your satisfaction. 
That is pretty neat. Is it poison? Are they all gonna good, die? Good, good. It pleases me to see you all so happy. For these are dark days, my friends, and we must enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Hadin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows his campaign to continue. So, I propose a toast then, to you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you! You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruelly. Oh, do not feign ignorance! Do you take me for a fool? That I have not heard the words you whispered behind my back? Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you'll say, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it bothers you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance, these words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I pledge myself to another cause. One that will bring about a new world, in which all people might live side by side in peace. Hmm. A pity none of you will live to see it. It was poison. A fountain of free booze is always too good to be true. Kill anyone who tries to escape. Um, a word, please. Oh, God. There we go. <laughs> um, you guys are terrible. Just so you know. I mean, I don't, I, I don't even mean all this murdering of the citizens and whatnot. I mean, you're terrible at it. As in, look at me, I'm just up here and... Um... Knock, knock. Sword, please. There we go. Oh my gosh! Your guards aren't even upgraded? How the heck are you supposed expecting to live, like, at all? I'm coming! <laughs> yeah! Still counts as an assassination. Now. Their words can no longer do harm. 
Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim. I can't to believe you've done sent this. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah ad-Din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, I'm but pretty. I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Did I just kill Hulk Hogan? Oh man. What? You can't jump through swords? What kind of crappy game is this? And why am I still playing it? <laughs> Unrealistic. Why? Why would you do that? <gasps> Ouch! No! Scholars! I need you! This is where the bur bureau is, right? Alright. Anyone who's made it this far gets to die. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Oh, that was a bad decision. <laughs> Alright, who wants some? <laughs> I don't want to attack that guy. Hey, listen, uh, analog sticks weren't invented in this time, so, uh... Altair doesn't have a great grasp of it. That's... That's what it is. That's my excuse. <laughs> Word has reached me of your success, Altair. Abu yeah. Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange, but then again, the Merchant King was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al Mualim then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. I don't think he's gonna make anything less confusing. Fast okay, there we go. To a more recent one. Go back to al Mualim. <laughs> Yes. Oh gosh. I very nearly clicked no. That would have been bad. Come, Altair. 
I would have news of your progress. I've done as you've asked. Good, good. I sense your thoughts are elsewhere. Speak your mind. Each man I'm sent to kill speaks cryptic words to me. Each time I come to you and ask for answers. Each time you give only riddles in exchange. But no more. Who are you to say no more? I'm the one who does the killing. If you want it to continue, you'll speak straight with me for once. Tread carefully, boy. I do not like your tone. And I do not like your deception. I have offered you a chance to restore your lost honor. Not lost. Taken. By you. And then you've sent me to fetch it again like some damn dog. It seems I'll need to find another. A shame. You showed great potential. I think if you had another, you'd have sent him long ago. You said the answer to my question would arise when I no longer needed to ask it. So I will not ask. I demand you tell me what binds these men. <laughs> now, what you say is true. These men are connected by a blood oath not unlike our own. Who are they? Non nobis, domine non nobis. Templars. Now you see the true reach of Robert de Salle. All of these men, leaders of cities, commanders of armies, all pledge allegiance to his cause. Their works are not meant to be viewed on their own, are they? But as a whole, what do they desire? Conquest. They seek the Holy Land not in the name of God, but for themselves. What of Richard? Salah Eddin? Any who oppose the Templars will be destroyed. Be assured they have the means to accomplish it. Then they must be stopped. That is why we do our work, Altair. To ensure a future free of such things. Why did you hide the truth from me? That you might pierce the veil yourself. Like any task, knowledge precedes action. Information learned is more valuable than information given. Besides, your recent behavior had not inspired much confidence. I see. Altair, your mission has not changed. Merely the context within which you perceive it. And armed with this knowledge, I might better understand those Templars that remain. Is there anything else you want to know? What about the treasure Malik retrieved from Solomon's temple? Robert seemed desperate to have it back. In time, Altair, all will become clear. Just as the role of the Templars has revealed itself to you, so too will the nature of their treasure. For now, take comfort in the fact that it is not in their hands, but ours. If this is your desire, it is. You are restored another rank. Take back your weapon. Use it to bring honor to the Brotherhood. Altair, before you go... Yes? How did you know I wouldn't kill you? Truth be told, Master, I didn't. I took a leap of faith. Oh, see what I did there? Ooh, what do I get? What do I get? What do I get? More health. Yay. Extra throwing knives. That's good. You won't often get a second chance to strike. Alright, back to... Uh, somewhere. <laughs> the other city. 